In this video, we'll look at writing the name for H2O2. So when you have this H2O2 molecule here, the common name, the one you'll hear quite often, is just hydrogen peroxide. So it's probably worth remembering H2O2, hydrogen peroxide. Even sometimes you'll hear it just called peroxide. A more formal way to write the name for H2O2 would be like this. Since we have a nonmetal and a nonmetal, this will be a molecular compound. We're going to use prefixes when we write the name. So we'll write the name for both elements first. And then on the second element, we're going to change the ending to IDE. So we're going to cross this out, write IDE. That gives us hydrogen oxide. But we have to take into account these subscripts here, the two on the H, the two for the oxygen. So to do that, two, the prefix we're going to use is di. So we're going to put a prefix in front of each one of these element names here. So for hydrogen, we have that two, we write di hydrogen. And then for the oxygen, which was right now is the oxide, we write dioxide. And that makes the name for H2O2 dihydrogen dioxide. If you saw this name here, you'd know that you have hydrogen, two of them, so H2, and then oxygen, two of those, O2. So H2O2, the name dihydrogen dioxide. But more commonly, this will probably be called hydrogen peroxide. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.